Good day and uh, welcome to uh, another edition of Mining with Prospector Al. It has been about a year since I did a video and actually posted it. I've been out, shot a few segments and stuff, but never really got enough to put anything together. But uh, we're going to try it today. I don't know that we're going to find a lot of gold. We're going to have a good time looking though. Uh, so we're down here in Polk County, Tennessee, which is the southeasternmost county in Tennessee. Probably most of you that watch the video series will recognize the location, uh, which shall remain nameless to protect it as much as possible. But it's one of the few places around here that's technically still open. Uh, anyway, enough of that. It's a nice day. It's uh, supposed to get up to 81, at least in up in the valley. We're kind of down a little lower than that here, but uh, humidity's not bad. Uh, temperature's not bad. I'd say it's in the mid 70s right now and it's almost noon I guess 11 ish at least uh, didn't get in a hurry getting here but there's uh, several of us here today you'll recognize Evan there probably if you've watched the video series and uh, got Jim up here he's kind of new to it he's from middle Tennessee so we're gonna try to show him how to find a little gold here and then we got Jimmy who's already hoofed it upstream a bit <clears throat> so uh, anyway it's uh, Saturday, it is May the, I think, May the 30th, yeah, it's the 30th, I had to think about it for a minute, but uh, so you can see our fleet of trucks there, and uh, looks like it's going to be a good day, and I, at this point in the gold mining career, I won't say I don't care if I find anything or not, I'd like to, but if I don't, it's still a good day out. Let's take a look up here at the sky. There's a cloud here and a cloud there. It's mostly blue. Chance of rain somewhere around 2%, I think. So uh, this is a nice location. It may be way down, but you feel like you're way up in the mountains. But really, you're just so far down in the valley that everything's above you. But, uh, haven't done any digging yet. You can see some couldn't wait to get started. But uh, I'm about to that point too. I'm gonna get started and see if I can find a little color. We'll take a look at it as it comes up. If we don't find any, we had a good time trying. That's what it's all about anymore. Escape the madness and craziness of the the work day and the work world and down here where there's no cell service. Uh, it's all good. Makes me wanna break out the camp and stuff and come down here again some weekend, which I might do. I've done it many times before. Anyway, we're going to get to it and just check back in a little bit. I don't know how well this <clears throat> camera is going to focus, but uh, first pan, well, it was about half a pan actually. I just wanted to sample the spot. Lots of little cubes of limonite and a nice flake of gold right there if you can see it. If there's any bigger, I'd probably pick it up with my fingers. It's not really focusing too good, but I will see it again. Uh, there's a piece of lead there, a few cubes of limonite after pyrite. There's a couple of small pieces of gold in there with that uh, bigger flake. And uh, there was a little piece of pinkish cast quartz, which uh, normally in the area here, if I find quartz that has gold in it, it's that pinkish cast. So uh, that's a good sign. So always a good way to start. First little sample pan has a nice size flake of gold in it. Uh, and scenery here kind of hard to beat so yeah i'm i'm happy happy just to be here happier that hey, i got a good piece in the first try yeah i don't know if you can see him there or not but i got some company a nice big spider right there he probably from end to toe to end to toe about three and a half inches harmless there but anyway i've done Four pans, I've gotten gold in every pan. Pretty good. Nothing you want to get rich off of, but pretty good amount so far. First one had the biggest piece in there, but I'm running short pans, so plenty of gold. We'll take a look at one here in a minute again. Hopefully the camera will focus in a little bit. It looks like old Jim's wandered upstream there. Hopefully he'll stumble across something, but uh, we'll see. All right, I had to take a break for lunch because I'm about to starve. Well, there's no restaurants or stores out in this area here, so you got to ask yourself, what does a miner eat for lunch? And 
there's your answer sausage and cheese mm. and crackers too basically just enough to hold us over till we get back to civilization and eat supper which will be home so that's it now you have your answer <clears throat> while i'm sitting here thinking about it obviously this is a fairly popular camping area not a campground there's no electricity or <clears throat> plumbing within uh, seven or eight miles of here but for primitive camping i've seen this just full of people before and it's not as bad as i've seen it we've been cleaning up here before filled three big garbage bags full of garbage uh, you can see a paper plate right there or a foam plate an old can candy wrappers Somebody brought an old drum down here and left it, which I guess is all right. However, they left garbage on top of it. If they take the lid out of it and make a nice garbage can, if somebody maintain it. So just a little laying here and there, and I promise you my garbage will leave with me, and so will all this. I'll find me a little bag and bag it up and take it home and throw it out. So whenever you're out, don't litter. Don't make a mess, and if somebody else has, pick it up. Try to always leave some place better than what you found it. And since I'm sitting on a stump, I'm in a stump for cleaning up. So that's my public service message for the day. Moved on into afternoon. Uh, it's heated up a little bit. Uh, it's still not terrible. Uh, primarily because we're kind of down in a deep valley here and there's some cloud cover that's moved over. Uh, nothing is threatening rain, just uh, more or less fair weather clouds. I um, haven't found a lot of gold lately, my hole kind of dried up, but the biggest problem is, well, I broke the handle on the shovel, so now I'm relegated to some uh, virtual hand digging, so uh, they were actually not the uh, only ones that decided to come down here today, I saw a group of hikers, there must have been 20 of them, and a few other assorted people down here enjoying the outdoors, and weather and scenery it sure is nice down here but uh haven't given up on it yet there's other ways to get gold uh, so i'll get in there and see what i can find and until then i'll just keep doing video walking around here and uh gosh, i see where jim left the stuff but i don't see where he is maybe decide to take a swim and float it downstream i don't know uh, anyway see the creek rolling by uh, up where we're working there, it's kind of flat water. This is more, more of the rapids and stuff. It's more traditional of what you see down here. Here's another deeper run. Oh, that's probably six feet deep right there, two meters, whatever. You see the creek going by. Nice spot. Pretty cool right here. Uh, no sun shining on me. It's in the shade underneath the trees. A little bit of a breeze. Feels pretty good for a very late May day. Still panning around the creek here. Find a little bit here and a little bit there. And obviously, without my shovel, I can't do a whole lot. But uh, I always love this spot here. It's such a nice view up the creek, cascades and. All the high bedrock exposed and tall trees and the huge porch boulder over there. It's uh, just a good spot. We'll try to take a look at some gold. I'm sure this pan will show a little bit of color. Uh, until then, I'm enjoying the day, the weather. Uh, it's not too hot, not too cold. No rain for once. And uh, the scenery is really good. Continuing to pan and finding a little bit of color here and there. Nothing really uh, significant. Really the best piece of the day was the first pan. But uh, still, yeah, getting some decent color out of it. So it'll look pretty good when we get it uh, all together and cleaned up. Still a wonderfully nice day. There's a light breeze going. Probably 78, 79 degrees, I'm guessing. So all in all, we found pretty good gold, the weather's been good, so everything is good. Let's see what comes up in this pan.
nothing, not a, only a few pans that way today with absolutely no gold, but hey, it happens. We're gonna keep at it for a little while. Enjoy the nice weather, sunshine, warm but not hot. All right, it's not really focused in there, but there's three pieces now it's focused. Three pieces there, decent sized little flakes. There's some more small stuff in there, but proof that we are getting some. Well, I meant to do a closing segment down there at the creek, but I forgot. But anyway, we packed up and headed out. We got into a pretty good spot there at the end, right before we had to leave as usual. But uh, we'll be back again. Right now we're heading up the road. some fun and enjoy some sunshine some fresh air find a little gold or whatever and we'll catch you the next time